Welcome to Combative Nerds, I'm ICI Gnome, and today we're going to talk about everything you should know before you see The Flash. Now this episode will be spoiler free. I've done my due diligence in trying to stay away from the spoilers that are floating around out there on the interwebs, and I want to keep you guys safe as well. We will dive into the rumor mill and talk about some things that have been discussed, uh, but nothing confirmed. Riddle Lance and I have tickets for opening night, and we plan to release a video review of this movie during that opening weekend. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow us for that video. Given all the Flash trailers we've seen thus far, this movie looks to have taken several liberties from the widely praised Flashpoint comic series from 2011. Now, I did a whole breakdown on the Flashpoint comic book series as well as the DC animated film, and you can find that video in the link above or in the description below. The Flash is the most highly anticipated movie of the year, and for good reason. It's not only one of the final chapters of the DCEU films as we know them, but the birth of the new DC Studios under the co-direction of one James Gunn, who's known for his direction of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and my personal favorite, Brightburn. It will also be the return of Michael Keaton's Batman. We'll see a fair amount of Ben Affleck's Batman there as well. And there are rumors of hero cameos from the past, present, and future? Including the late, great Christopher Reeves as Superman, and George Clooney and his bat nipples. For Keaton's Batman story, you'll want to watch Batman from 1989 and Batman Returns from 1992 to better understand some of the references I'm sure they'll make in this film. And honestly, for movies that are over 30 years old now, they very much still hold their own in production value, style, and storyline. The versions of The Flash and The Batman in this upcoming film first appeared in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice way back in 2016. That movie introduced us to an older, bitter Bruce Wayne who's been protecting Gotham now for 20 plus years and has lost friends and family along the way. 20 years in Gotham, Alfred. We've seen what promises are worth. How many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? And just before Batman's conflict with Superman, Barry Allen makes his first appearance during a scene in which the Flash races back in time to warn Bruce Wayne about the threat of Superman in the future. She's the key! Am I too soon? No! I'm too soon! You're right about him! You've always been right about him! Fear him! Find us, Bruce! You have to find we also see security camera footage taken from Lex Luthor that shows us a glimpse of the speedster's powers. In Justice League from 2017, Barry Allen talks about gaining his powers after being struck by lightning. He visits with his father, who is supposedly wrongfully imprisoned after the murder of his mother. Shortly after, Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen officially meet for the first time when Bruce attempts to recruit him as part of his plan to defeat Steppenwolf. Stop right there. I'm in. Now, according to Warner Brothers Studios, this film will completely disregard the events of Zack Snyder's version of Justice League from 2021. In that Zack Snyder cut, we are briefly introduced to Iris, Barry's future girlfriend slash wife, and we get to see the Flash time travel in what was one of my favorite scenes from that movie. Now, I'm not a Snyder fanboy, but I am kind of upset that Warner Brothers has chosen to disregard the events of Zack Snyder's version of Justice League, as I felt like that movie had a lot of really great scenes. Instead, DC released a three-issue comic book miniseries, which supposedly has movie tie-ins. In this series, we get to see Bruce Wayne continuing to train Barry on what it takes to be a hero, as he faces off against classic villains like Girder, Tarpit, and The Top. 
It shows the evolution of Barry's technology with the help of Batman, introduces us to the new Flash suit and ring, and we get to see a few touching moments between Barry and his father who is still very much in prison. Now this has been an abridged version of everything you should know before you see The Flash. Now I'll make sure to provide links and resources in the description below to help keep you up to speed. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.